Hi everyone, welcome to the final part of my series on how to create an accounting system using Excel. In this video, I will show you how to make your workbook more user-friendly and professional by adding links and print areas. You will learn how to create links from all sheets to the index sheet, and from the index sheet to all sheets dynamically. You will also learn how to set print areas for each sheet, so you can easily print or export your data. By the end of this video, you will have a complete and functional accounting system that you can use for your own business or personal needs. If you haven't watched the previous parts of the series, I recommend you do so before continuing with this one. What would you benefit if you become a member of my channel? You will get any file for any video I explained. You will be able to contact me via Telegram to solve any problem you face with any file or video on this channel. You can ask me for minor modifications to the files to suit your work. At first let me rearrange worksheets in this file. Move the index to the beginning by dragging and dropping. To move the cash flow worksheet to the end, I can right click on the sheet tab and use the move or copy option. Let me check the sheets to see which one I need to move. Move the general ledger worksheet to the left of the trial balance worksheet. Move the balance sheet worksheet to the end. Right click on the sheet tab. Move or copy. Move to end. To create a dynamic range of all worksheet names in the index worksheet, I will use formulas to display the name of each worksheet in cell 01, or any other cell, on that worksheet. For example, I can copy the formula in cell A2 of the balance sheet that displays the sheet name, and paste it in cell 01. Select the formula and copy it. Paste it in 01 cell. I can use the cell to be a link for index sheet. Right click on the cell. Choose link. Or simply press, Ctrl plus K. Choose, place in this document. Then, choose Index Worksheet. Copy this cell. Go to each sheet in this document and paste it in O1 cell. You shouldn't do that in the Index Worksheet. In this sheet I need a dynamic range which include all other worksheets in this workbook. To do that I will use text join and text split functions. Let me type here, equals, text join. I can choose any symbol to be a delimiter, let me choose semicolon between double quotations. You can choose here true or false, since there are no empty cells in our range. To get all sheets names go to chart of account sheet and press on 01. Press the shift key and click on the last sheet in this document. Press Enter key. As you can see, we have the names of all the sheets separated by semicolons. To make them a dynamic range I will use text split function. Type here, equals, text split. A6 cell. No column delimiter needed. The row delimiter here is semicolons between double quotations. Press Enter key. As I do usually, I will replace A6 cell with its contents. Select the formula without equal sign and copy it. In A7, select A6 in the formula. Press Ctrl plus V to paste. Delete A6 contents. I can type a title for this range as, Sheets in this workbook. Now I will use hyperlink function to get a link to each sheet in this workbook. With hyperlink function I need a hashtag sign before the reference. To get the correct reference I will type here, equals. Go to chart of account sheet. Press on A1 cell. To view the formula, proceed it with apostrophe. This is a reference I need in hyperlink function. Let me form it here equals, quotation at the beginning of the text. We must start with a hashtag. Then I will type apostrophe which is the beginning of the text reference. Since the chart of account is in A7 cell, close the quotations then type and symbol. 
After and select the dynamic range A7 hashtag. Then type and symbol. Then open quotation for cell reference. Start with apostrophe. Then type exclamation mark. Then type the cell A1 reference. The formula now is ready for hyperlink function. Precede the formula after equal sign with hyperlink. I have a link now for all sheets in my workbook. Move this range to be 7 cell. I need to display my custom sentence in these cells. Simply erase the last parentheses from the formula. Type, comma then quotation mark. Go to the sheet is the sentence I choose. All links in my file are ready now. I will add borders to this range. You can say that the file is finished now, I just want to get the worksheets ready to print. Go to the chart of accounts worksheet. Select A to I columns. Page layout tab in the ribbon. Print area. Set print area. Do the same for all sheets you want. If you need to put header or footer, go to page setup group. Press the dialog box launcher. Go to header footer tab. You can put page number or the date or you can choose a custom footer or header. To preview the print layout, press Ctrl plus P. As you see my name and the date are appearing in the header. It's better for this sheet to choose landscape orientation. And maybe I will need to fit all columns in one page. I will do that for all sheets in my workbook. Congratulations, you have reached the end of this series on how to create an accounting system using Excel. In this series, you have learned how to set up a primary and index worksheet, a chart of accounts, journal entries, a trial balance, a general ledger, an income statement and retained earnings statement, a balance sheet, and a cash flow statement. You have also learned how to add links and print areas to make your workbook more user-friendly and professional. You now have a complete and functional accounting system that you can use for your own business or personal needs. I hope you enjoyed this series and learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tutorials. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.